Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Wellesley. <laughs> yes. My name is Shante Brown, and I am the Dean of First Year Students. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome all of you, new first year students, new transfer students, new Davis scholars, parents, family, and friends. Today is the day all of us on campus have been waiting for all summer, and we are delighted to have you here. We are especially proud to share the design that accompanies our theme and brands our orientation program this year, Thrive Together. It helps us celebrate the bonds you will make with each other and the strength of our community here at Wellesley. Thriving Together is very much about lifting each other up, inspiring you, and encouraging you as you transition into, through, and out of Wellesley in just four short years. I want to take a moment to reflect on the outstanding group of students represented in this room. Students, we are so glad you are here with us today. You hail from high schools in 46 states, plus the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and Guam in 34 countries. 18% of you are the first in your family to go to college. Yes. And 11% of you are connected to Wellesley through a mom, grandmother, aunt, or sister who also attended Wellesley. This year, Anna and Isabella are the most popular names in the class, <laughs> followed closely by Alexandra and Sophia. <laughs> we also have three sets of twins joining us on campus this fall. This is also a very colorful class with last names black and brown, green, gray, and peach. <laughs> We also have a cook, a gardener, a fisher, and two potters, and a sun and a moon. Welcome to all of you. This summer, the orientation coordinator team spent quite a bit of time learning about bees in preparation for your arrival. Recently, the team interviewed Professor Heather Matala from our Biological Sciences Department. Professor Matala studies colonizing insects, particularly the honeybee. Bees, like students, are social creatures. The team learned that bees really function as a family and are highly skilled in teamwork. Honeybees all work toward a common goal, to protect the hive and help it grow. All this to say, I see pieces of the Wellesley community in a beehive. We're all here learning and growing together, while at the same time being our own individual bee. On your quest to finding a sense of belonging here, know that belonging isn't just about fitting into the hive. Belonging is about bringing the most authentic you to our community and celebrating what makes you different. With this in mind, students, I have four challenges for you to help you navigate Wellesley as your most authentic self. First, over these next six days, try something new something you're a little bit curious about, but you haven't experienced before. Second, talk to at least one new person outside of the scope of small talk every day. So that makes six new people. Perhaps attend one of the many events during orientation that are designed to get some of those conversations started organically. Third, lean on our wonderful student leadership team to get your questions answered, to help you feel at home, and to be your first friend. It's important to know that it's okay if it takes you a few weeks or days to find a close-knit group of friends. Having friends isn't about having a swarm of people here at Wellesley. Be on the lookout for that one person or those two people that will be there for you, for you at the end of the day. Lastly, take in all that makes this place special because soon enough you'll be calling it home too. Parents, this day is about you too. Having one less human around the house is not insignificant. You may find that food lasts longer <laughs> and the house might be quieter, but you might also notice that one open seat at the dining room table. And knowing all of this makes it okay to be a bit emotional or even sad today. 
Please know while you may be physically apart, your Wellesley student will still need you in her life. We do need you to say goodbye later this afternoon so our students can begin their college experience <laughs> with their peers, but your relationship with, with her will remain very important. Please know that at Wellesley, we want each student to have a smooth transition as she begins her college career. You can partner with us by allowing your students some room to thrive here, a chance to succeed and fail, and time to become the person she wants to be, and most of all, by continuing to let her know that you love her. Please know that your student is in good hands. We have more than 150 events designed to make the transition to Wellesley as warm and welcoming as possible. From meeting new friends to finding resources on campus to preparing for the academic year, we want you to know that orientation will set them up for a year of growth, community, and to thrive. The excitement of today spreads through our entire community. One thing I haven't shared with you just yet, this is also my first orientation at Wellesley. Yeah. I came to Wellesley last October because I felt there was something different about this community, a warmth of spirit and a sense of family. I hope you've had an opportunity to feel some of that today. When you arrived this morning, you were welcomed by our enthusiastic leaders in their bright blue t-shirts and also by professional staff in the residence halls and over lunch in the dining halls. Lunch was provided by the generosity of the Office of Parent and Family Programs. I'd, yes. <laughs> I'd also like to recognize the exceptional efforts of our grounds crew and custodial staff who have prepared the campus and facilities for your arrival and who may have assisted you this morning as you moved into the residence halls. They are a remarkable team. The planning and implementation of our orientation program is largely handled by our outstanding upper class student leaders, and six particularly remarkable examples of that leadership are with us today. Student orientation coordinators, if you could all stand and give a quick wave. For your energy, the endless hours of planning, and your enthusiasm, thank you. Lastly, a thank you to David Todd, our advisor for new student programs, for his diligence and constant positivity. Let's give a round of applause to all of our student leaders and staff. I now have the privilege to welcome someone central to our Wellesley community. Dr. Sheila Shaw Horton, Vice President and Dean of Students, has been integral to student life over the past two years. With over 25 years of experience in higher education, Dean Horton has taught undergraduate and graduate students, is a trustee of her alma mater, Emanuel College, and holds a master's degree and PhD in counseling psychology from Boston College. She has brought her experience, expertise, and ideas to Wellesley. It is my pleasure to now welcome her today. Please welcome Dean Horton. Thank you. Isn't Dean Brown amazing? She's only been here. This is her first orientation and she's leading it flawlessly. Of course, she's done orientation in other institutions, but, but she has learned about Wellesley and is just making this orientation so special. So I am so excited to be here. I had an opportunity to go around and meet many of you as you were moving in to the residence halls and to feel that excitement um, and also a little of that anxiety that I know some of you have. Um, I've met parents who are thinking, how will I go back? I couldn't believe how many parents were, um, uh, this is their only child. I met several of you. Raise your hands if this is your only child. We have great compassion. Raise your hand if this is your last child. There's a different level of compassion, right? <laughs> and then if this is your first, okay. Um, parents, I just wanna say thank you for bringing us what's most precious in your life. 
Um, I just remember that experience and have great compassion for you. And students, you've made it. You're at Wellesley. You are the yellow class. You notice we dressed for you, right? <laughs> I'm so excited that you're here. I am your Dean of Students, and I oversee the dynamic division of student life. I call myself your chief advocate. So I'm that person who thinks about you 24 seven. Um, and I work with over 60 educators who are responsible for fostering your growth and development over these four years. You know, one of the skills that you learn in college is how to create home wherever you go. Um, it's in the form of community that you create. And we in Student Life create the conditions for you to build that community, for you to create that home away from home. You know, and Wellesley right now is in this critical time in our history, we're re-examining the student experience. We're making significant improvements in the facilities, in the programs, and all of it to affect your student experience to make sure that you're able to make Wellesley your home. So you may hear comments over the next few days, especially from the upper class students saying, things are being done differently. We're not used to things being done this way. And what you need to know is that's true. Things are different. We're using new technologies, we're launching new programs, and we have a new approach to engage, embrace, engage, and empower you. Think of those three things as you move through Wellesley. When I say embrace, I mean that our welcome is inclusive, supporting you in all of your complexities and identities. We will engage you in learning about yourself and the world through the clubs and the organizations, in and out of the residence halls, in the academic support programs, in the identity development initiatives, and we will empower you with peer leadership, with retreats, with internship opportunities that will help to unleash your potential as you prepare to make a difference in the world. And speaking of peer leadership, I just want to take a moment, along with what Dean Brown mentioned, to thank the fabulous student leaders who are so helpful to you in moving in. So all of you, thank them for me. They were not only here for you today, they will be here for you throughout orientation. They will be here th for you throughout the year. And the other, they're Wellesley, so they'll just be here for you, like forever. <laughs> That's how it works. Wellesley alums are so involved and so engaged, and your fellow students will soon be your fellow alums. So each entering class um, has a theme, and as you've heard, the theme here is Thrive Together. So I'm just going to take a few minutes and, um, and reflect with you on that theme. So yellow class, how will you thrive together? Your journey here at Wellesley is part of this lifelong learning process, where you will be challenged to think about how you use your time, your vision, your tenacity, your sense of hope, and your power. You're a member of this very diverse campus. You heard about all the diversity earlier. This is a campus that's also open to dialogue about this difference and about your own responsibility to uphold freedom of speech. We value genuine relationships and in-person communication, real contact. So the small classes, the seminars, the floor meetings, even tea time in the residence halls, it's all designed to create an opportunity for you to have a safe space to engage in real connection. That's a value for us. And there's this quote by Coretta Scott King that I feel like is particularly relevant. She said, the greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members. So it seems to me that an important component of being able to thrive together is to have compassion for one another and to take actions that demonstrate your compassion. So here's an expectation that we have for you at Wellesley, that you will find your voice, 
and you will use it to speak your truth with compassion and you will use actions to help our community thrive. There are so many ways in which you can live out this expectation. In the residence halls, you can be active in community engagement hour. RAs in the room, say woo-hoo, community engagement hour. <laughs> when you are socially active, you can include even the quiet students down the hall in your fun activities. And you can check your own privilege in an attempt to get to know those who are different from you. You can be respectful and promote understanding. And when you engage in vibrant discussion, and I am sure you're at Wellesley, there'll be some vibrant discussion, you can let others' ideas percolate before you speak. So Yellow Class, we're gonna depend on you to maintain a safe environment by engaging proactively with your fellow students around safety, health, diversity, difference, racism, homophobia, sexism, all of the possible ways in which we could be divided and use this education that you're about to get, this Wellesley College education, to make the world a better place starting right here on this campus. Are you all okay with that? Now I have one last reflection before I close. You all, I, I think about it as a reflection or an imagery, think about the bees, but I want you to think about fireflies for a minute. So you have worked hard to get here, right? You were the shining light, a bright light in your high school or in your home community. And now you are here amidst all the other bright lights. What will happen when all of the lights are shining at the same time? Will you feel the warm glow of being amidst the same level of brightness? Or will you wish you could amp up your wattage to shine brighter? Or will you feel the heat and pressure or the intensity of that illumination? Will you recharge a bit? to regain your shine? Or will you change the lens by which you look out to refine your view? Think about it, yellow class. There's a national conversation going on right now about the stress culture, and it comes from this desire to be perfect. But you are in college now, and your goal is learning. And learning is a process that involves imperfection. I challenge you, yellow class, to reject this idea of the stress culture and let's turn it into a strengths culture where you build on each other's strengths. You help each other to be successful and you can do it if you take the mindset to thrive together. Now, I look forward to getting to know all of you, and I'll be sending you newsletters. I want you to know when you get the newsletter from the dean's office, this is the person sending it to you, just so you know. I got you. Um, please read the newsletter. There's important updates that will become. I have a student who has helped me to make videos of different topics that are relevant. They're usually pretty comical, so hopefully you will enjoy that. And so read the newsletter. I'll also be doing student dinners um, once a month. There'll be first-gen student dinners and other student dinners, so please sign up. on. Um, it'll be on my website. You'll be able to go onto the Dean of Students website and sign up to sit down and have dinner. So there'll be different ways that I'll get to know you over the year, and I'm really looking forward to to it. So thank you. And I now have the pleasure and the honor of introducing Wellesley's 14th president, President Paula A. Johnson. She's a respected and passionate leader, deeply committed to women and to sustainably improving their lives. She is recognized the world over as an innovator who has brought her broad range of experience as a researcher, educator, physician, and expert in healthcare, public health, and health policy to bear in the effort to advance the well-being of women. She is committed to educating and empowering the next generation of women who will make a difference.
And I am especially pleased to be a part of the senior leadership team and to work closely with Dr. Johnson. So please welcome President Paula Johnson. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Horton. Uh, it is truly such a pleasure to welcome the yellow class of 2023 to Wellesley. I want to also give a warm welcome to our seven new Davis scholars and to our nine transfer students. And I I want to give a special shout out to the parents, the grandparents, the sisters, the brothers, the aunts and uncles and the friends, many of whom we met this morning, who helped our students move in today. Thank you for being here at this important milestone and for, sp for truly supporting the newest members of our community in ways that only you can, so thank you. I have to tell you how much I enjoyed with, with Dean Horton walking around campus this morning, meeting so many of you and meeting your families and friends. Um, and each year, this is such an energizing day. Um, tremendously energized by the energy and the excitement of our new students as they come to campus. I'll say that, you know, we're, we're of course wearing yellow because it's the yellow class, so this is the best time of year. You know, we, we wear our yellow as the seniors graduate, and we keep it there because we know you are coming. I just want to say thank you, Dean Horton. We are so fortunate to have you as our Dean of Students as a strong and inspiring campus leader. I know how extraordinarily hard you and your team work to support our students and to foster connection and inclusion across campus. And Dean Brown, thank you for all that you do. We are so thrilled that you joined our community. And again, because we can't thank them enough, I want to thank our student orientation coordinators for all that they've done and accomplished this summer for making this year's orientation such a resounding success. And to each and every one of the 200 of you of our students who helped to welcome our newest students onto campus this week, again, we thank you. Each year I find it contagious, affirming, and hopeful. It reminds me of what we are here to do and everything that's possible when we come together at the start of the fall and a new academic year. As we welcome you today, you join one of the most remarkable communities that I've ever had the privilege of being a part of. As the premier women's college and increasingly a global center for women's leadership, Wellesley's many strengths make this place unique. Our truly world-class faculty are here to support and mentor you and will provide you with one of the finest liberal arts educations in the world. Our network of alumni, sometimes called the most powerful women's network on the planet, will drop almost anything to help out a fellow Wellesley alumna or a student. And I will tell you, you're entering, you're entering this group, and I have experienced that power um, over my now going on four years as president, and it is truly remarkable. And you, our class of 2023, a group of some of the most savvy, talented, intelligent students anywhere, each arrive on campus with something special. You come from all over the country, from all over the world, and you bring a wealth of ideas, perspectives, and talents. We are a stronger, more dynamic community with you as a part of it. There is so much that we can accomplish together. 
As you know, this year's orientation theme, Thrive Together, is emblematic of the culture of connection that you are entering. We are a diverse community and institution committed to providing an education for women who will make a difference in the world, where our students are ready to voice their views, to find their way into the conversation, to join the debate, to listen and to seek new ways of understanding. We know that to achieve excellence, to reach the goals that we have set for ourselves and our community, we absolutely must draw on the entire range of perspectives present in this auditorium and on this campus. We must pursue meaningful dialogue based on fact and strengthened by respect. In addition to the outstanding academic education you'll receive here, it is our promise to promote your well-being. We believe in your power and potential. We are here to help you grow and flourish both in the classroom and as important outside of the classroom. I found that when you are a part of a community as rich as this one, some of your most profound learning will come from living alongside each other and from being open to a multitude of experiences, some of which you can't even imagine yet. Along with this will come the friendships you'll form at Wellesley, friendships that truly last a lifetime. Whether it's during reunion weekend here on campus or when I visit alumni across the country or around the globe, I'm so privileged to witness how our alumni mean, how much they mean to each other, how they support each other, and how their friendships sustain them long after they leave campus. And I just have to share a story. Um, Sunday afternoon, after I welcomed the international students to campus, a group of 13 alumni came to the house, came to my house. They call themselves the Palm 13. And it's, how many of you are living in Pomeroy? Okay, so the Palm 13 are 13 Wellesley alumni who met their first year and remained the dearest of friends through thick and thin, through joy and tragedy. And they came together to celebrate the wedding of one of their children, and here they were, back again, class of 1983. That will be you one day. That lifelong sense of community is something you will build over the years and something for all of you to look forward to. So again, I am so thrilled to welcome all of you from the class of 2023 today. It's a joy to welcome you to the Wellesley family. It's an exciting time and perhaps some of the most memorable years of your life. They await you. They will go quickly. I remember telling my own son, just remember this day because in a heartbeat, you will be a senior and it's so true. So enjoy and savor every moment. Make the most of it. And thank you for being here, Shanti. Thank you, President Johnson. So I'd like to close us by again acknowledging all of the hard work that our student leaders and staff have done in preparation for all 635 incoming students. This year, we have 193 student leaders who have trained for over a week and who are so excited to meet the incoming class and help make Wellesley their second home. We truly appreciate everything they've done to start orientation off on the right foot. At this time, I'd like to call the orientation mentor team to the stage for a special surprise they've prepared for you. If you know the words, sing along. You can also find the lyrics on the back of your orientation schedule. is 
spring. In every changing mood we love her, love her towers and woods and lake. Oh, changeful sky and blue above her, wake keepers, your chorus wake. We'll sing her praises now and ever, blessed fount of youth and love. Our hearts devotion, may it never, faithless or unworthy proof. We'll give our lives and hopes to serve her, on this highest, noblest all, a saint